Canva Newsletter Tutorial 2023, how to create a newsletter in Canva step by step. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be covering on how you can basically create a newsletter for yourself using Canva in the easiest, most efficient way possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now what we're going to do is obviously we're going to go and head right into canva.com. Okay. Now, once we're here on canva.com, obviously we're just going to get straight into creating whatever we want to. So here we are newsletter. We're going to write newsletter and we're going to head over here. Now there are two approaches to this. Okay. Now either you could uh, use their templates to create a newsletter for yourself. Okay. And you know, going on from a template, it's just makes your life pretty much easier and uh, you don't have to do a lot. So you can just use their templates. And let me tell you, they have amazing templates. They look great. They have a great layout. They have great color schemes and yeah, you, you'll love them. So, uh, let's go. Okay. I'm going to give you two examples. Basically I'm going to be using a template and I'm also going to show you how to make it from scratch by yourself. So let's go with a template. Now I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Let's go with this template. Now that looks like a pretty good newsletter. So I'm going to go and customize this template. I'm going to come back here and I'm also going to create a blank template. Now, first of all, let's work on this. Okay. Now you could do your changes. Okay. So let's say right now it's March, 2023. So just change it to that, you know, pretty simple stuff. And uh, I'm going to bring it back and there we go. And newsletter business, like you could change something like, let's say it's a newsletter for um, like technology. Okay. IT and technology. Okay. You're going to put that in. Now, once you put that in, it could be, you know, tech news. It could be the um, rise of IT and it could be, you know, uh, top news. Yeah. And then obviously you can put in as much information as you like. Of course, you can also change the color of the background. Like let's say you want it to be fully white. Okay. You can change it. Just go into colors and then make it fully white. And there you go. It's fully white now. So it all depends on what you want. All depends on your perspective. Let's say you, you want to make it yellow. You can make it into that. And uh, you can even make it like different shades. Look at that. You can make it green if you want to. You can make it white. But I think uh, for a newsletter, the best colors that suit it would be white or off white. I usually prefer a decent off white. Yeah, there we go. That seems best. Now, of course, uh, add your QR codes, your serial codes, whatever. You can change the font if you want to. Like, let's say I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and look at that. You can change the fonts. You can make it open sans bold if you want to. Open sans light, glacial indifference. All of these, these are like amazing fonts to add. And uh, like you could put any one if you like. So I'm going to go with this. Look at that. So just change fonts, change your text, whatever you like to add. And that is like, that's pretty simple stuff. Now from here on out, if you want to download, just click on share. Okay. Now, once you click on share, just go and download. And once you go and download, obviously it's a newsletter. So you're going to go PDF standard. And once it's PDF standard, you're going to click on download. And what that will do is it will directly export your PDF or your newsletter into your files. And if you click on it, let's go and see it. Look at that amazing quality and it looks great. So that is how you can make it through a template, of course, but we want to make it through like a proper, you know, blank template. We want to make it properly by ourselves. So for that, what you're going to do is you're going to go on the white blank page. Okay. Now, once you're over here, you're going to tap the white, uh, you know, paper up there. And once you do that, you're going to choose a good background color. Now, as I said, I prefer myself, a, you know, a bit of an off white, you know, a grayish vibe. Now, once this is there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you know, set a good background. So I'm going to add shades or, you know, uh, some type of overlay. So as you can see, this is like a good shade. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to expand it like that. And once that is done, you could mess around with its color and opacity. So let's say, uh, okay, from white to black. Okay. Now I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go in its opacity and I'm going to make it less opaque. Bring it here, make it a slight bit bigger. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to give your page a good title. So for that, you're going to write rectangle and there you have it. There's your borders. So I'm going to bring this up here like that, stretch it out. 
like that. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. And there you go, that should be good enough. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in text. And once you go in text, again, choose a great font. I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks like a pretty decent font to add on your newsletter. So you're just gonna write newsletter. I'm gonna centralize it. Once you do that, just bring it in the center like this, like so. There we go, newsletter. I'm gonna change the font, okay? I don't I don't exactly enjoy this font, but yeah, let's keep it like that. You can also give it effects, like, you know, splice it if you want to. You can give it shadows, uh, you can give it a decent lift, or you can also outline it. So you can choose like the amount of out outline you want. You can change the color of the outline. I'm gonna change it to a black. And once it's black, look at that, you can increase the amount of outline you want. So I'm gonna keep it till that. And that looks pretty good, that looks pretty nice. Now what I'm gonna do, is obviously I'm gonna add some type of image in the photo because obviously every newsletter has an image. Without an image, it's not a newsletter. So let's say I have some type of image section. Let's say it's a newsletter about the Oscars, okay? I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna just crop it to the size I need. There we go. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna keep it here. Make it a bit bigger, there we go. And from here on out is where we're gonna start adding our text. So choose a good font again. And once you've done that, bring it here, make it smaller, make the box smaller. There we go. Here we go. And make, obviously make the font smaller. So I'm gonna choose this font, okay? And once we're over here, we're gonna start writing stuff. So let's start writing. Let's say yesterday's Oscars totally, and then just write your news, snubbed this following actor see what he has to say and you can you know you can write the stuff write as many things as you like wait i'm gonna make sure that the text is perfectly aligned uh i'm gonna make the text a bit more smaller okay i'm gonna change the you could say font i don't exactly like this font in this case i'm gonna change it to a rubato and yeah, that looks much more, much more like a newsletter. And once like you're, you're just gonna start adding more things like this, add more overlays if you should, and then just go on share, as I told you, go on share, go on download, go on PDF, and then download it. And that is how you're gonna make your newsletter. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.